Hi, my name is Bob Grinier and I'm a volunteer with Martin Fleischmann the Memorial Project. Last summer I was invited by Dr Eagley to the former director of the Pax nuclear plant, that's the only nuclear plant in Hungary, to see two experiments. One of those experiments was to see the uh, production of electric current and voltage from pyramid type structures which we shared elsewhere on our YouTube channel. And the other one was a claimed experiment that used chemical uh, mixes uh, using Zoltan Kish's uh, so-called electron process balancing system to remove the radioactivity of potassium-40 and apparently to transmute it to potassium-39. So this recording is a real-time recording of a, a complete experiment from beginning to end. And during the experiment, Zoltan Kish describes several of his ideas. What we witnessed was a very fast increase in temperature to quite a high degree in the so-called active mixture, of which he kind of describes what that contains. However, I was unconvinced at the time that this could not be otherwise explained by chemical processes. There was obviously some potassium hydroxide used, which contains water, and it could be that there is some sort of water transfer and some sort of plaster of Paris type chemical heating process, a sort of exothermic reaction going on that may account for the temperature rise. I suggest you watch this on double speed using YouTube's double speed feature if you wish and you can maybe draw your own conclusions as to whether the experiment has any merit. I was told that hundreds of times the experiment had been successful beforehand and that it was successful after but I don't think in my opinion that there was anything plausible recorded on the day of the live test. Obviously, if you had a known amount of potassium-40 and then you did a mass spectrometry with it to assess the isotopic ratios and then did that after the test with a, a similar mass recovered from the process, one could make a better conclusion. The following video is what was recorded on the day. I'll let you decide. So I'm here with Zoltan Kish, and we are going to try an experiment that he has worked on. You invented, is that right? No. You I, discovered? Maybe yes. Maybe you discovered. Okay. You you say maybe. Do you think? Do you think you? Uh, because because don't want to be seen as uh, somebody who is uh, putting himself from there somewhere because of this kind. Uh, I I find it. I find it. You, you you seem to have observed this effect. Yes. Okay, so uh, what he has uh, here is some potassium, uh, and it's potassium, potassium dioxide, uh, hy uh, hy hydroxide. 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 So you can see that down here, some caustic flakes, and uh, we're just determining the um, micro sieverts per hour, so it's 0.29. Um, can we can we restart the sample time on this because it yeah, was okay. sampling with yeah. the other in there? So it is it's, uh, the reaction starts because it's hydroxide and start to. Okay, so you have uh, some powders here. Uh, what it, what are in these containers? You have one marked K. This is the calcium hydrox. Uh, uh, this is here. Um, Kaolin. 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 Yes. Kaolin. Yes. Kaolin. So what it's what is a, that composed of? This is a for people that don't know. A sili sili silicium, uh, aluminium, calcium. Uh, calcium um, Calcium, silicium, aluminium, dioxide, oxygen, carbon. So it's a composition mm -hmm. almost almost mm -hmm. the same minerals are like here. And what is in this one? Here is, is a is a is a composition of uh, the twenty nine 
first elementary processes of the periodic table. In the, in the, 29, the, the, 29, the 29 elements of the periodic the table. The first 29 yes, periods? Yes, in different, in, in different compositions, in different okay. percentages, yes. Okay, and, and do you have a table, or, or how do you make it? Do you grind them up, or...? No, it's uh, it's it's um, fine dust. It's a, it's a, in dust format mm -hmm. and uh, in in different plus titanium mm -hmm. uh, and find the the balance the balance uh, is structural composition when when it shows a, a kind of um, neutral neutral um, impact to the environment. So no no impact. No, okay. No, it's a balanced status. Okay. O almost, almost like that one. Okay. You and see it thirty-one again. So yeah. Yeah. This is this is the, the amount thirty-three, the amount and the and the dosim and, and the level of the of the radiation is the same as it, it was there. Just because a very small, um, very small amount mm -hmm. and a very low level activity, therefore it's easily can Im Im impacted by the external. Yeah. Yeah. Impacts. Yeah. So the ma the amount and the and the level of the radiation is, uh, is, is, is fluctuating and and no and no and no significant impact of the of the value value. Okay, so we probably need to do a control where we don't have any of this in play and see what the background level is. The background level is not sixteen. Uh, so we'll take okay. that a long way away. <laughs> we'll park that over there. Uh, Yes, we go, we, we'll go down to Newton 16. So we'll leave that there for a little while. So I guess what people will want to know is what the proportions of the elements are in here, if they're going to be able to replicate it. Yeah, but uh, here, here the, the proportions here are uh, um, protected by, by, uh, by um, license, by, by, by our, our um, my colleague mm -hmm. mixed together. Mm -hmm. So the, here the most, the most the biggest volume is the silicium dioxide. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The others are less and less and less. But mm -hmm. this is a how to, I, Misha, Misha, Misha. proprietary. Yeah, mm -hmm. Yes. So I, I wouldn't really to speak about the proportions, mm -hmm. but this is this is the uh, amount of the of the of the uh, elements here. In the most the most the, big, the biggest volume is the silicium. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I will show you. I will give you my book anyway. Okay. So um, it's published in your book, right? Yeah. Okay. So the it's obviously quite I, quite I, complex. I will, I will give you. The <laughs> uh, it's patent patented, but uh, the the actual compounds, uh, the ratios are published in the book. Yes. And will you be happy for us to uh, show that ratio? No, no problem. It's, it's any, anyway okay. it's published. So yeah. Okay. It's there. Cool. So it's the background radiation is for 0.14. Okay, so what is the, what are we expecting to happen in this experiment uh, between these two samples? We, with the curl in here and in this one, your uh, uh, patented but published... Uh, decontamination. Uh, you're going to decontaminate. So uh, would, would you expect this to decontaminate anything or have you you've only done uh, so we, potassium we, so far? We will mix this one and this one as well. Okay. But we will we we will see the difference mm -hmm. of bringing down the contamination level because of the mix mm -hmm. because the fir your first touch was how much it is mm -hmm. so if if I mix it mm -hmm. in that case the volume of the radi radioactive uh, uh, component will be m less mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. the activity level will mm -hmm. be less mm -hmm. here here uh, the contamination level goes down, mm -hmm. but you will, we will, you will see the, the consequence. The rebe, the, there will be here and uh, heating up. The, the, the mix will be heated up. Okay, so can we use this lab thermometer in, yes. inside them? Yes. And we can, we can use that in both, can yes, we? Yes. Uh, okay, all right. So we have two lab thermometers that I brought with me here um, that we can use to mo monitor the temperature. Yeah. You see, no, tw no 12, no 12. Yeah, so that's just the va variation. Just background radiation. So what you're saying essentially is it's about three to four times background um, yes. when, when you've got the potassium no in four, place. So no 40 is the... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take the potassium here and I'm going to drop the uh, counter on top of that again. And we'll see how that changes.
Where is the window on this little detector here? Is it somewhere yeah, underneath? It's underneath, is it? 246. Yeah, okay. Already 46. Okay, so I'm going to take it out of the way again. And just make sure we know what we're looking at here. So we take this out of the way. There's actually a little bit of potassium somehow on there, but we'll move it over here. And we're back down to 12. I mean, this is 0.12, so uh, let have, it sit there for a while. If you want to move these out of the way, they've probably got something in them as well. <laughs> because the calium has to be very easily very easily becomes liquid, yes, liquid. which is probably why we should cover that one. Yes. <laughs> so I you can I see will, it's, it's doing I, it here now. I will mix it, okay? Because, yeah. because okay, we're running out of time because it. Uh... Uh, you, you you can still measure that, no mm -hmm. problem. You have got a crack in the bottom of this, so you are not worried about that. Crack? Yeah, there's the crack yeah. in the bottom of the glass. I'm just wondering if you're going to put some water in there. You're right, you're right. That's okay, we'll be okay. Now, why this is interesting to me, I think the uh, gamma is 1.46 or something mega electron volts, isn't it? I think from uh, potassium 40. Yeah, it's, uh, the, the potassium 40 is mainly, mainly beta, but it has also a small gamma. Yeah. But mainly beta plus. Okay. But so the, the the beta though would be would be easily stopped, wouldn't it? Yeah, the, this, the the beta would be stopped and the gamma will remain. But this it is so small portion the gamma mm -hmm. that uh, so I think the what you really want to do is so are you saying this removes the beta radiation or is it it removes the, both no, the beta and gamma? Removes. Okay, so really what you want to do is have a scintillator that was focusing on the gamma. Okay, we'll go back down here and even now it's, it's back well under 20, so. So this is, this is just, a, just for, for reference. Yeah. We will, we will mix it, mm -hmm. and this is now a mix. And this is, mix it. It's okay. If you want to put put the the thermometer, the new yeah. So okay. So can we do we need the lid on or off? Yes. So. So we're going to put the one with the blue tab in there. I can already see it's gone up. It's 35 degrees over there. So I think we can maybe get the camera so that we can see the thermometers. That would be good. Bring these closer together. So I'm going to put those like so and like so. K and D. <laughs> Okay, so this one's at 30 and this one's already at 44, 43, it's 44, this is at 30 degrees. And it's going to 46, 7, 48, it's going up quite quickly now. The, the, the potassium 40 half-life is 1.3 milliard years. Yeah, so obviously you can see my hand is not getting old quickly. So clearly this isn't time-lapse. 
<laughs> over one and a half million years. And, and we, we, can, we, can, we can measure the, the activity. So it's already here reaching uh, 56 degrees centigrade. And, we and uh, we're still at 30 degrees, which is the ambient temperature in the shade at the yeah. moment. So we will see that the activity level will be the same. But this is the, here the, the, uh, the result of the mix. And 30 here. degrees in the K, which is the ambient. And we're now at 60, getting up to 62 degrees now in this one. 63 degrees so is getting en quite hot. So the energy, energy, the energy difference, and the, which which causing the, which causing the, uh, the isotope status is working out. Absolutely no change at all in this one. Now, you know, uh, how do we discount the chemical effect of some chemical interaction between the moist hydroxide and whatever you've got in here, which at the moment I don't know what it is other than it looks similar. <laughs> Uh, how do we say that we, you know, because I know when, when I make cement, it gets very hot. You yeah, know, cement you, can get you hot. Adding water. Yeah, you are. And so you've got an exothermic reaction there. Um, how do we know that the temperature here isn't just an exothermic reaction? We know that. We don't know that. Okay. We, uh, one, one of our friends is measuring this one, the chemical reaction. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because that was that was the point. We, yeah. We have, it's only we only can prove that if somebody measures it, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, the mm -hmm. chemical reaction. Mm -hmm. We thought that we can repeat it with uh, sodium hydroxide actually to see whether yeah is it uh, really up for this uh, potassium or it does happen with sodium. But we hasn't uh, carried out this. Experience. So yeah, there's no change here. So this the background radiation, you see. Well, I think what I want to see is some of this material taken out of here, put on a tray, as we did earlier. Okay. But let, let, let's leave it for a while. Let's see if the temperature settles out at some other degree. Uh, we can measure as well as here. The same will be the same. So it's sitting at about 78 degrees centigrade right now and if you look at this one it's still down at 30 degrees. Seventy nine, roughly. Yeah, it's nearly seventy nine. There's a bit of parallax on the camera. <clears throat> Both powder at the very beginning uh, are dry, supposed to be absolutely dry. Well, that's not going to happen. <laughs> There's going to be there's going to be water, it's, unless you dry things out. I mean, it's relatively dry here, but. Uh... So th this is the point, that this is the only this is the only stuff we can try this this uh, effect. On. If somebody would give me cesium, and I put it with cesium, and then when throw down the, the contamination level, then this would be another example of proof. But this is the only, mm -hmm. the cow high is the only, the only. Mm -hmm. So we're at 82, 82 degrees here now. So my point is that the energy plus of the, of the column 40 mm -hmm. is coming out, mm -hmm. which is coming out otherwise, and that's why we have put one, one and a half billion years now he's leaving the, 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 the kind of hydroxide. So, um, are, you, are you suggesting then that uh, there's some sort of far field effect going on? 
yeah. between this this uh, mix of uh, elements and it's ha how many elements the first how 29 many? first 39 yeah. elements so 29, just 29 29 okay plus titanium yeah plus plus titanium plus, okay plus. so you you're suggesting that there is some sort of effect like far field effect between the potassium in close proximity with these uh, 29 plus titanium yes the conflict of the the conflict of the of the isotope is uh, communicating with the base with the, with the, um, with the equilibrium 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 status state of mm -hmm. the of the mix and the uh, equilibrium status try to to work out the potassium mm -hmm. damage okay so i'm going to get out some neutron detectors a fast neutron detector and a slow neutron detector to see if there's any in my understanding, the neutron, that neutron, neutron flux is not changing. Yeah, well, Just we'll the find beta. out. <laughs> Just the beta. Because uh, you say you have uh, some titanium in there. Why did you make the choice to put some titanium? titanium because the titanium in there? helps to to reach the to reach the uh, the balance status. Without yeah. titanium, it's a bit difficult to find the balance status. So this is a thermal neutron detector here. So zero to one hundred electron volts. So I'm going to park this somewhere here. See if we get anything going on. And I have a fast neutron detector somewhere in here. I did. Oh dear, where's that gone? <laughs> uh, there it is. It's on the table. I'm just uh, re I reset these so you can see there's no bubbles in there. So what I've done is I'm I'm placing these either side of the D sample, which is the sample with the first 29 elements and the titanium. So again, can I have your justification for the titanium? The, 20, 30, the first 29 element in different uh, proportions mm -hmm. gives a certain balance status. Mm -hmm. But it's very difficult to, to reach a balance status without a titanium which is highest, mm -hmm. a little bit highest neutron uh, intensity uh, level. Mm -hmm. So if I put a lot small titanium there and, and, uh, and ferrum, which is the uh, iron, highest, mm -hmm. iron they have to reach the easier, easier, e it's easiest, easier mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. reach the equilibrium status. Mm -hmm. The only point is, otherwise I could try, would, would, would try to 100 years for, for mm -hmm. having the, that, that, that yeah. precise balance as with titanium. Titanium is easier. Right. And so how, is, how do you know, how do you determine when it's in balance? How do you, how do you decide it's in balance? This is the mathemat. This is a calculation. This is a calculation mm -hmm. having the uh, the intensity of the electron process. Mm -hmm. the, I will show you in, in my computer mm -hmm, mm -hmm. the intensity level levels of each elementary process. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Each elementary process has a different intensity level of the electron process. Mm -hmm. And this, the intensity level of the electron process, the number of the of the proton process, number of the neutron, mm -hmm. the numbers of the of the um, the, the quantum speed, the, quant the, the, the value of the quantum speed mm -hmm. is altogether gives a certain, certain result, which I will show you in my book, the, this, mm -hmm. this calculation. Uh, and we do it without titanium, it's very difficult to very small portions. I, I would I calculate such a small portions from these elementary mm -hmm. process, mm -hmm. but I cannot when we, when we measure. Mm -hmm. it's, uh, I cannot measure null point. 0.1 gram. It's it's Im impossible yeah, yeah, to, yeah. to measure and put together this way. Yeah. So I have I'm, I'm taking higher pres higher percentage of the of the of the usual mat usual stuff, and I'm taking in that case I can can bring a, a titanium, titanium to which kind of which helps. It's so iron. it's kind of like a buffer in a buffer solution. Yeah, so yes, it's like yes, it, yes. It, it helps. So um, and you're saying that the combination uh, when you mix the calcium in there. Sorry, the potassium, yes. which is a, a calcium, one and a half million year yeah, high. The quantum 40 higher, has a higher neutron, neutron weight. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This, this is the reason of the 40. Mm -hmm. So uh, calcium, uh, potassium 40 need mm -hmm. electron process drive. Mm -hmm. 
for for making for for driving the neutrons the the, the balance status so mm -hmm. because because the potassium 40 has a balance problem in proton neutron mm -hmm. processes mm -hmm. and because his neutron process balance higher than necessary mm -hmm. if i start to 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 drive these these uh, uh, neutrons which are part of the potassium they start to be part of the other ele elementary processes mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you know uh, in that case simply transforms th this loses the the the, the, the energy the, the dot dot energy uh, point which is make it make makes it uh, as, as as part of the potassium will be different elementary process so essentially with the the potassium sitting there saying i really want to be stable but i'm not Yes, and, and so you're working you're, out my, my problem. I need in my space time, yeah, one and one and a half billion years. Yeah. but if somebody coming who has a, a kind of stubby status but feels that there is a there is a, a stuff to to help to because because all these these yeah. this composition now start to have a balance status and all those elementary processes which have a balance status in 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 mm -hmm. the in the in the decontamination mm -hmm. deco de deco mix the mm -hmm. mixture they to communicate the, the so where is the potassium 40 going to nowhere it start to it start to be in potassium 39 yeah okay yeah so it's just lose he just loses his uh, and so uh, is, the, is there some sort of a quantum coupled transfer of energy to other elements? Yes. And the whole mix is trying to become a stable whole? Yes. And because, because this is a conflict, because this mm -hmm. is a communication, and, uh, and uh, the balance status is communicating with the isotope, therefore uh, the, 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 conflicts, uh, the conflict re uh, uh, results in heat, mm -hmm. heat, mm -hmm. uh, heat, 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 heat increase. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So actually, if you look at the temperatures now, we are seeing temperatures. It's coming down. Uh, well, no, After it's, uh, it's a, about, yeah, it's about 86 and a half, and you're still at ambient. Well, it's about 30, 30 and a bit in the other sample. And I'm pleased to report no neutron detected. <laughs> Um, my experience is uh, my my yes my my um, oh, yes that it will be 0.2 higher than the background radiation. Mm -hmm. So I I made thousands of measurements. Mm -hmm. So it's not one it was just 10,000 measurements. Mm -hmm. And I, if I compare the the final result of of the decontamination and the, 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 the background radiation, then it would be 0.2 higher than than the background, which is the gamma. No, that's a good thing. <laughs> that means, uh, at least for the sensitivity, um, the thermal is for thermal, so whatever. Um, but uh, the fast is only for certain energies. <laughs> he wants to get away. <laughs> there you go, steady hands. I was trying not to shock it. You can get these to produce bubbles if you tap them. <laughs> So yeah, the temperature's down to 85. So when do you suggest we take out a sample and test it? We can test it any, any time because after, after, after the uh, uh, heating started going, after, after this, the mix is uh, heated up, it loses the, the... Oh really? Yes, it's already no, no, no contamination.
Okay, so let's let's take some of the K sample and see if we've got the same sort of uh, okay. background that we had before. We need we need two plates, don't we? I want to keep the camera rolling, so. Yeah. Because, uh, yeah, I would take a spoon and two uh, ceramic uh, plates, two, two separate ones. Yeah. So what is your thought, Georgie? I mean, clearly there was a massive temperature differential there. Um, but of course, you can get that kind of thing with uh, plaster of Paris or... Um, you know, I mean, I can see that just, just in case it doesn't come out on camera, this is slightly yellower, um, the kaolin, uh, uh, and this is sort of whiter and grayer, uh, in color. The density and uh, roughly the structure is quite similar for the two initial powder mm -hmm. or dust, mm -hmm. actually. But that slight difference is still interesting. Mm -hmm. Of course, I still miss uh, the control exper experiment, which I suggested that we with, the with the sodium, with the sodium, just uh, to see whether there mm -hmm. is this chemistry behind it, or, because the sodium is the same chemistry, mm -hmm. and we were promised but not delivered it. Uh, Sodium. The sodium hydroxide didn't come. Yeah. Hmm. But certainly, sodium or not, uh, it is strange that radioactivity is going down. Well, I, I haven't seen that yet, but maybe we will. <laughs> um. That I have seen. Mm -hmm. So I've just got to keep the. There, there may be um, a reason for someone to jump to a later point in this presentation uh, to the point where the uh, samples are checked, but I don't want to break this raw video. With this, we have background radiation. Yeah, well, yeah, I mean, uh, I put that in line here. No, oh, I can't see it there, it's, it's around about 22. Of course, I've actually got this next to the sample, but he's saying that it's mostly beta that he's measuring, and of course the beta probably won't be getting through this glass. No, we can. <laughs> yes, yes. And on the top, you may even remove the... No, he, what we're suggesting is we put these onto a tray, okay. and we put it over the top, or a cup or something. So the temperature in the D sample now has dropped to 83 degrees centigrade and it's still 31 in the K. Nothing really of any interest is going on there temperature wise. Looking good. Okay, if you do that behind, then the camera can pick you up doing that. Uh, still no bubbles in the bubble detectors. Can I? Yep, just do what, do what you like. I'll take this out. Um, That's really hot. <laughs> I just lifted up the glass. <laughs> so. so, let's just put these here. 
Okay, so I'm going to probably start with the one that you say will have a low radiation count, right? Yes. So it, as it's got low, we, I can park that on top. Can I, can I just uh, park it? No, no problem. Yes. You yeah. could, you I'm going to park it right on yeah. top. Try and rotate that round so it's actually the way of... So in theory, if this has its radiation gone, so we've gone to... No, not, hmm? not completely. Not completely, but there will be um, a lot of background. The background will influence this one more, um, so it should go up and down around the low mean more than this sample, which we will see in a little while. But we'll give this a little bit longer because this one's not going to change measurably for the next three million years. <laughs> So I think we can leave it longer on this one. Yeah, this this uh, <laughs> 0.2 higher in uh, as as the statistics shows me for uh, for ma many many measures because the gamma is not treatable, but the beta plus is uh, treatable and has been done, and the gamma is remains, but this gamma is so slow, so so low that it has no problem at all. Mm -hmm. 0 0.0, 0.02 is. Mm -hmm. Zero actually, mm -hmm. but uh, as as uh, th uh, thousands of measurements, I, mm -hmm. I know that we be 0 0.18, mm -hmm. 0 0.19, 0 0.17. Mm -hmm. That's it. So, if you're suggesting that this would work with any out of balance isotope, so let's say it's cesium 137 or strontium 90, strontium 90 is a beta emitter. Yeah, be, right? yeah because, because even the, the gamma radiation, a uh, high percentage of the, of the radiation is beta, right. mainly beta. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the remaining, in that case, the remaining gamma will be simply, simply uh, no problem. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So it reached a peak of about 23 there. I'm just going to move it in case we're not sitting on something. <laughs> I'll leave it here for a few little samples longer. Okay, so let's try moving that over onto our other sample here. Um, have we got something to wipe this off? Yes. I'm moving it closer now. What are we getting there? Let's so move it closer. So we just uh, wipe that off. So we're going to park that on the so-called untreated sample. Let's see what we see. Is this a one minute average? Do you know? Uh here is uh, some 20, 20, sec 20, 20, 20 seconds mm -hmm. measurements, 15 seconds, okay. I believe. This, the, the green one is the measurement mm -hmm. itself. Uh, 
I, I, I thought this is necessary sh just to show those who who told me that this, this is the mix effect of the mix mixing. Mm -hmm. But yeah, this is the effect of the mixing. Yes, that's mm -hmm. right. But this, there is no no temperature increase at all. See, if, uh, if I was to do this experiment, I'd want a scintillator and I'd just be looking at the gamma because it can't be affected by a coating. Mm -hmm. um. But in principle, beta is also of interest if it has this kind of effect. Uh, it has influence only on beta, that is also of, of interest because mm -hmm. it's a kind of transmutation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Bob, the, the, the gamma, radi the isotopes of gamma radiation have a huge portion of beta, and if beta is off... Oh, I'm not saying getting rid of the beta, I'm just saying what would, for me, be a convincing demonstration that the actual process has occurred beyond the chemical, um, and it would be gamma. So uh, if the gamma, the 1.46 mm -hmm. or whatever it is, mega electron volt gamma disappears, that means it's not potassium 40 anymore, it's, it's potassium 39. Look, I don't know which mm. disappears and which not, but mm -hmm. because, the, because the beta, beta, any beta is elect electron mm -hmm. effect, mm -hmm. the gamma is electromagnetic effect. Mm -hmm. And, and we, when, I, when, I, when I measure a remaining portion, a small mm -hmm. portion, in that case, I, I think this is main, most likely because of the electromagnetic mm -hmm. remains, not because of the electron remains, electron, mm -hmm. electron process remains. Well, I, I have to be honest right now, when we had that on there, it was up to 23. And right now it's sitting at 19 on this sample. So what, what am I meant to be seeing that's significantly different here? Yeah, but these measurements, uh, these measurements, you'd have to do uh, 80 measures and then make the average. Okay. Because this, this uh, device, the very good device, mm -hmm. but because of the background radiation is so much, so much uh, influences mm -hmm. that the huge number of, the average of the huge number gives the right, the right, the right value. You see again 21. So if, if we, if we now start, uh, st uh, start to write down the, the, the values and then divide the number of the, of the of the measurements, then we, we got the right the right value. But the untreated both don't forget the untreated value was around uh, forty. Forty. Mm -hmm. So this is the half. I know, but it's the same here. No, it's just twenty. It's twenty one. It's the same half. No, no, no. This 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 is the this is here the twenty of the of the of because of the mixture. Yeah, but. I, we saw up to 24 on here. Yes. And we're at 23 here and uh, going down to 19. I don't, didn't, I'm not seeing a significant difference between the two samples. Yes, but but this is this is the the the, the principles mm. are differences. Mm. The here here is no no uh, heat. There was no, no I know, but it's different reason. chemicals, isn't it? So th there could be a chemical reaction which causes the heat, but the element hasn't changed because from what I'm seeing is this one is roughly the same counts yeah, the as same. this one. The only difference is the, in the heat, heat uh, mm. increase, generation of heat. Mm -hmm. But the generation of heat is not from nothing. Something is, uh, is uh, going off. And but you have different chemicals in here. Yes, but, so, yeah, but different chemicals uh, and heat increase. Mm -hmm.
And I mean, it's 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 18 now, so. Oh, but if if you put it here, mm -hmm. and you we are waiting. Okay, we are waiting. Uh, and we are waiting for a necessary length. Hmm? Jó, jó, jó. Jó, jó, jó. I'm not seeing any difference, really. This is... Um, it's just essentially the same. The, the background's about 13, and on yes. I, I, either sample it's yes. about 23, 24, which is yes. what I would kind of expect if I'd just covered the, uh, the potassium hydroxide with a a layer of powder, really, which would stop a good proportion of the beta, and judging by what we're seeing, it's stopping half of it, roughly. Or, no, it's stopping two-thirds, because the background is 13. So it's, it's stopping about two-thirds of the counts. Yeah, this is the only, this is the only point is the heat, the, the heat generation. The only point is... So the, the, heat, the heat generation, and it's still quite hot, and I'm feeling this here, it's still quite hot. Um, uh, is it just a chemical effect? And, and whether, if you have a whole chunk of different chemicals, um, you need to go and put potassium hydroxide in <laughs> Could be, yes. each one of the chemicals that you have and find out. Could be. This is, this is the reason. We have to try this with the different with different isotopes. I don't I don't so think you need to try with different isotopes. I need I think you need to take one of the elements you're putting in here or one of the compounds that you're putting in here out and keep taking them out until you end up with this. <laughs> and and see which one stops it getting hot. Um the, 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 there's no measurable difference there. I, I don't I, that you can see really um, like I say the, on, the only way you could be sure that it wasn't potassium 40 is to do a long sample with a scintillator yeah, and, and I, look for the gamma I do not I do not um, argue with you 
You don't because, need a different isotope. Because, you need because, a scintillator. Because the heat generation might be mm. of chemical reaction mm. and might be 